Hi. In the first part of this tutorial, we'll sync FlexiBeats to a software digital audio workstation, in this case Reaper. Here's Reaper. Let's listen to a simple sequence I made with it using one of its own synths. Now here's a pattern I made in FlexiBeats. We sync FlexiBeats to Reaper through a virtual MIDI port. I use Loop BE. You can freely download and install it. Make sure that mute is not ticked. Now in Reaper, go to Preferences, choose MIDI Devices, and you can leave all the choices that appear under MIDI Inputs as disabled. Under MIDI Outputs, on the other hand, we want everything disabled except the virtual MIDI port, which we set to enabled plus clock. Do this by right-clicking the virtual MIDI port entry and ticking those choices. Reaper will now output a MIDI clock through the virtual MIDI port. In order for FlexiBeats to receive the MIDI clock, go to MIDI Audio in the menu, choose MIDI Audio Settings, and for the MIDI in device, choose the virtual MIDI port. Don't worry about MIDI out device, as we don't need the MIDI stream output by Reaper to go anywhere else. Tick MIDI sync, and our Reaper has control over FlexiBeats playback. Next, we'll sync FlexiBeats to an external hardware synth and sequencer. Here's a sequence I created on a Yamaha RM1X. And a FlexiBeats pattern. Testing one three. Testing one three. Testing one three. Testing In order to sync the RM1X with the FlexiBeats pattern and record the output, we'll do this. FlexiBeats is synced to the RM1X through a simple plug-and-play MIDI interface. FlexiBeats output goes to a mixer through an audio interface. The audio output from the RM1X goes to the mixer. The mixer output goes back into the computer through the audio interface to be recorded by Audacity. Here it all is in the flesh. Here's the RM1X. Here's the MIDI interface with one end connected to the RM1X MIDI port and the other end to the laptop's USB port. Here's the laptop with FlexiBeats visible and the audio interface plugged into a USB port of the laptop with the mixer at the end there. The four leads plugged into the audio interface are a stereo out to the mixer and a stereo back in from the mixer. The four leads plugged into the top of the mixer are the stereo in from the audio interface and a stereo in from the RM1X. The audio interface you see here is a Behringer UCA202. Unfortunately, the built-in audio cards of most computers are substandard, so you likely won't get satisfactory results using the computer's headphone jack to get the audio out and the mic jack to get the audio in. On the other hand, the Behringer interface is small, features great sound quality, is plug and play, really cheap, and I recommend it for getting audio in and out of your computer. This diagram shows how we want to configure the applications on the laptop. We want FlexiBeats to be synced to the RM1X MIDI clock in from the MIDI interface, FlexiBeats audio to go out through the audio interface, and the audio coming back into the audio interface from the external mixer to be recorded by Audacity. So in FlexiBeats, go to MIDI audio and then MIDI audio settings. For the MIDI in device, choose the external MIDI interface, which in this case shows up as USB audio device. We don't need to set anything for MIDI out device. For audio device, choose the audio interface, which shows up as USB audio codec. Then all we do is tick MIDI sync, and now the RM1X has control over FlexiBeats playback. Now in Audacity, to record the audio in from the audio interface, go to Edit Preferences, and under Audio I.O. for playback, you can choose whatever audio device you like, but for recording, 
choose the audio interface, in other words, USB audio codec. Leave any other checkboxes unticked. Now press record on Audacity and play on the RM1X. Testing one, three. Testing one, three. Testing one, three. Testing one, three. Testing one three. Testing one three.